Okay, so I've been, I've got my laptop working, the other one. Not this one. This one's kind of useless. But I got the other one working, and it has like all sorts of cool stuff for the camera. So, hey, look, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> and, and then, and then, and then, um... This is so cool. This is so much fun. So I figured I'm not going to do a video. I'm joking. It's cool. It's cool. Don't worry, Nathan. My brain seems to be struggling today, so bear with me because it's going very slowly. I'm struggling to form coherent sentences. Um, but to the question at hand, conformity. It's good. And it's bad. Obviously. I mean, at the end of the day, it's what makes you happy. I mean, if it makes you happy to wear the same clothes that everyone else seems to be wearing, then that's cool. I mean, it's... So a lot of the time, it's easier to conform than to go against what everyone else is doing. Especially when it comes to things like fashion, because shops want to sell the clothes that the most people are going to buy, so they're going to sell the clothes that are in fashion. So if you want to get clothes that aren't the fashionable type you can go charity shops, a lot of charity shops around, that's one easy way the only other option is to shop online and very often when you're shopping online <laughs> you're conforming to another group, maybe not the fashionable ones but a, a group of some sort and it's the same with a lot of things, I mean religion uh, if you're not the main religion in the UK, allegedly uh, Christianity or a Muslim or Sikh or Jew then atheist I mean it's hard to you guess you can make up your own religion oh is that offensive? Um, oh I don't care um, guess you can make up your own religion that's one way of not conforming and it's a creative spirit it may one day lead to a mass religion that doesn't cause any type of disagreement on the internet or in a warm country so yeah I mean the problem with conformity is when you're doing what everyone else is doing you aren't uh, contributing anything new but having said that a lot of the time when people conform they put their own twist on it so like when everyone has to wear a school uniform, uh, people start rebelling against, I guess, you know, not wearing a tie, turning your collar up, wearing bracelets, and th just little things like that that make it their own. And conformity is complicated because no matter what you're doing, nine times out of ten it's being done before, whether it's popular to do or not. I mean, another thing is... Um, manners you know like standing up on the bus to let somebody older than you sit down it's conforming to a preconceived idea a very valid one that they need the seat more than you but sometimes it is good because sometimes it's just easier and I mean everybody conforms in one way or another but you can a lot of people will conform, I won't say a majority, but a lot of people I personally know will conform in every way so that everyone thinks they are just normal with nothing special about them. And then they have one thing that's sort of not their own, but is unusual. Like if it's their, their music taste, often a secret music taste for something that a lot of people don't listen to, or uh, an appreciation for um, modern art or something like that. Things that a lot of people don't but an eyelid. So I think in some ways, everybody has that non-conformist part of them. And some people are just more obvious than others, like you. Like, somebody talks to you for ten minutes, they can tell that you're not really bothered about what people think. And that's a large part of conformity, I think, is when it's just easier in a lot of instances. And secondly, it, it makes you, like, say now you were... Uh, pretend to be interested 
you said you pretend to be interested in the same things as a lot of people, then it just you have something to relate to, and it, it gives you that sort of acceptance. Ah, oh, you're like me. Uh, I've lost my point. I have no idea where I was going with this. <sighs> I had a cup of tea and rejuvenated my brain. And I have found my point, I believe. Page 7, chapter 3 of your textbook. So yeah, we should conform, but only if we want to. Um, like if you're not particularly fussed on what clothes you wear, then don't be too worried when you're wearing something that everybody else is wearing. I mean, if you want to, if you particularly want to stand out, and you don't want to conform with what you're wearing, we just wear what makes you happy. Do what makes you happy, of course, as long as it doesn't affect anybody else's happiness. Uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is, just do what you think's right. I mean, if a law is passed that everyone seems okay with, but you're like, hold up, this this isn't right, then don't just blindly follow it. Stand up and tell people how you feel. I mean, may, maybe they'll be able to point out that your logic is flawed and change your opinion, or maybe you'll change theirs. It's it's a very, very complicated process um, when it comes to conformity on um, what to and what not to conform to. Should we conform? Well, depends on what aspect of our lives, really. I mean, I am doing the whole university thing. But it's what I want. I mean, I'm quite looking forward to it, to be honest. I'm not like, I don't really want to do it. But I have to, because that's what everyone else does. I'm doing it because it will help me achieve my goals that I've set at the moment. They may have changed by September 2016, and I won't need to go to university. But as of right now, it's what I need to do. Um, what you need to do is what you're doing right now, because it's what makes you happier than anything else and happiness I guess is the overall goal uh, I'm gonna have to edit this now uh, <laughs> I have no idea how also I'm gonna have to stop saying the peace out thing because I watched a Michael San Santoro video baby snake that's how I know him it turns out I do know who he is baby snake um, yeah and he at the end of his videos goes peace out exactly like I was doing therefore I can't say that anymore, because I'd be not even conforming, it's just copying somebody else's, not even originality really, but you know what I mean. I um, think that's all for now. Laters, baby. P.S. I also think I figured out why my videos annoy me so much, because when I watch back my videos, I'm always like, oh, wow, this is extremely boring. I think it may be to do with the fact that I lack enthusiasm. Ah. But yeah, that's not going to change, so um, I'm sorry, you're just going to have to listen to me drone on in my videos because I don't know how to show enthusiasm because I'm dead inside. Bye!